Hello my esteemed viewers. In this tutorial we will discuss selection sort very clearly. And thus far we have we have been discussing various manipulations of, of, the, of an array. Manipulations of elements present in an array. Initialization and duplication, accumulation, reversing of an array, arithmetic operations an array. In this particular operation we saw various statistical procedures implemented on an array and we too we have also discussed sorting one of the sorting techniques namely bubble sort in our previous tutorial and in this tutorial we will discuss the selection sort one of the famous sorting algorithms among among more than one dozen sorting algorithms that exists selection sort is uh, supposed to vaguely mimic the photographing session or the photographer how exactly he arranges people of various heights he selects and places them in the appropriate row if a if a person is shorter he will bring him uh, bring him or bring her to the front front row and if the persons are taller he will place them in the in the in the in the last row so that every one of them should be available in the frame and selection sort is believed to mimic vaguely the selection of people, selection of elements and then sorting. And let us take an example to reinforce our understanding on selection sort. Let it be 4, 3, 1, 2. That is there are 4 elements and this presents uh, some, uh, some kind of a worst case for the selection sort algorithm. Worst case means selection sort does all the all the comparisons and uh, the selection sort assumes the very first fellow if, if you are arranging the the elements in ascending order the very first element is uh, the, the position of the very first element or the very first element in the first iteration is assumed to be the smallest because that is a position where smallest smallest among all the elements should be seated or should be should be uh, located or should be placed therefore therefore the very f the element that is present in this position is assumed to be the smallest and comparison will take place between the rest in order to find the real small valued element i repeat the first element is in the first iteration the very first element is assumed to be the smallest if you are arranging things in ascending order and selection for the true true uh, the smallest element will be done from among the remaining and the uh, iteration will start in order to select so the first iteration started and selection happens between the three elements and one is found to be the smallest or the shortest and this one will be exchanged with this particular position okay so in the beginning the first position is the is the position which contains smallest of the elements and the selection will take place bit um, from among the remaining and one is found to be the shortest as uh, the smallest and one will be swapped with four four will go there and one will come over here after having done this one will be one will be taken out of the sorting procedure because it is already sorted and it has also found its pride of position so in the second iteration one is out of comparison one is already because one is already in the sorted array so now the 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 element that is in the second position will be assumed to be the smallest smallest from among the remaining smallest from among the remaining and and selection has to be done within these two elements uh, in order to find in order to find the real the real uh, the real small the real smallest element uh, of course i have done a mistake over here it should be it should be two it should be two the element that is found over here should be two okay okay now we will continue we'll continue <clears throat> so first iteration is over the first position is assumed to be the position where smallest element is contained smallest element is contained and the and the selection will happen from the three from the remaining generally told from the remaining and one is found to be the so smallest element and one is swapped with four 
and what comes out is what comes out is 1 3 4 2 1 3 4 2 after the first iteration anyway we can see that this is partially sorted array so once again it will be subjected to the second iteration and when the second iteration takes place this one which is already in the position which is already in the in the pride of place in the sorted array it will never be included for for sorting further further therefore therefore as the iteration goes by uh, uh, number of elements will be reduced by one now what remains with us is a three elemental array and three is assumed to be the second the position the element that is in the second position is assumed to be the smallest and the selection will happen from among the remaining so with this example since there are only four elements this is already selected and it is placed in its pride of place in the, in the ascending array and now in the second iteration the, the element in the second position will be assumed to be the smallest and selection of the real smallest from among the remaining will take place from the two from the two elements and it so happens that two will be identified as the smallest element next smallest element and swapping will take place between two three and two and what remains uh, what comes out of the second iteration is 1, 2, 4, 3. This is again a partially sorted array. So, second iteration, third iteration starts with the input 1, 2, 4, 3. And 1 and 2 will be taken out of the fray and they, it, they will not be included for sorting, sorting because they are already sorted. Therefore, what remains with us is only two elements and the and the, the selection should happen only with the element 3 that is the only element therefore and this the this is the element which is which is in the third position is to be assumed as the smallest from among the remaining and comparison will take place and the selection will take place it's only one three one one element that is existing and it is found to be the lesser than the element found in this particular position therefore swapping will take place one and two is already sorted and swapping will take place between three and four three and four now what comes is what comes is purely sorted array therefore we can notice over here in the iteration one there will be one selection selection one and from this in this selection one will be selected and this four will be swapped okay and it was wrongly assumed that this position contains the smallest of all the elements and this and the selection procedure has given us one to be the smallest element and swapping will happen between four and one and what emerges after the first iteration is one three four two a partially sorted array and second iteration will start with with the elements 1 3 4 2 and 1 will be taken out of the fray and what remains is only three elements and the element which is in the position 2 will be assumed to be the smallest among the remaining and selection will take place between 4 and 2 and 2 emerges out to be the smallest from among the remaining and it will be replaced with 3 okay selection will happen selection 2 will happen and 2 will be uh, these 3 will be, which is assumed to be the smallest in the second iteration will be swapped with 2 and what emerges after the second iteration is 1 2 4 3 again again a partially sorted array and in the third iteration 1 and 2 is already sorted and 4 and 3 remains to be sorted and 4 the this position that is the second position 0 1 2 therefore the the element in the second position is assumed to be the smallest among the remaining and remaining elements happen to be only one in this particular example therefore therefore selection is to be made only from this and this is 3 and how this selection is made this element is compared with this element the element in this position is compared with this element and this element is found to be lesser than this therefore swapping will take place and what comes out of selection 3 is a sorted array 1 2 3 4 so what we noticed in this example typical example which presents a worst case scenario for the selection sort is four elements three iterations and three selections therefore in the worst case input containing n elemental n elemental array or L array containing n element there should be n minus 1 iterations and n minus 1 selections taking this clue we will develop the 
uh, uh, develop the program. This is the tenth program, tenth example program uh, in the consignment of uh, examples in the array, array related examples. So we have included stdio.h and conio.h and we have assumed we have reserved an array by name arr with 100 elements this is for number of elements this is for swapping temporary variable and maximum position actually it should be made as minimum position sorry it should be made as minimum position because we are arranging things in ascending order therefore we will call this as minimum position this is an assumed position every time so minimum position minimum position and i and j for running two for loop and you must have noticed by this point of time we need two for loops for the selection sort the outer for loop is for selections n minus 1 selections the inner for loop inner for loop is is finding the real position of the smallest from among the remaining elements in the first iteration if there are n elements and the inner for loop should find out the real minimum valued element from among n minus 1 element. In the second iteration, the inner for loop should find the minimum among n minus 2 number of elements. Okay, the user is questioned as to how many elements in order to make this program little interactive and he enters number of elements. Let us say 15, let us say 20. Enter the elements. He will enter okay one by one with the help of this for loop okay and array before sorting in order to get the taste of this sorting procedure and in order to see whether exactly this particular selection sort has done its its work we have we have printing we have, we have printed the array before sorting now selection sort takes place now 1 i equal to 0 i less than n e minus 1 i plus plus this is for this is for exactly n my n e minus 1 selections or n minus 1 selections and here we assume here we assume minimum okay it's a mistake over here sorry minimum position is assumed to be i in the first iteration the minimum position is assumed to be i so in the first iteration i brings 0 therefore we assume that in the 0th position in the 0th position there is a element which is minimum among all it may be wrong it may be wrong it may be right also anyway it is the botheration of the inner for loop to search for the real minimum valued element real minimum valued element so the outer for loop is for number of selections n e minus one number of selections if there are four elements we saw that it is three selections Therefore, if there are any, any n elements, it will be n e minus 1 selections. So, minimum position okay, is i that is 0 in the first iteration. Uh, so, this goes with an assumption that the very first element is the minimum, the very first position contains the minimum valued element okay, because we are arranging things in ascending order. If you are arranging things in descending order, we will just change this, we will call it as maximum position and i i remains to be the same now the comparison should start from the first element okay because zeroth element is assumed to be the minimum valued element therefore the comparison for finding the real minimum valued element and its position the comparison should start from i plus 1 okay this is 0 i plus 1 in the second iteration it is from the uh, second position in the third iteration it is from the uh, third position because 0 1 2 okay 0 1 2 because the iteration starts from 0 iteration will never start from 1 so j equal to i plus 1 okay the selection procedure the finding of the real minimum valued element starts from the first position in the first iteration okay zeroth iteration actually it is a first iteration because in arrays the the positioning starts from 0 i plus 1 and it has to go up to the last element therefore it is less than any j plus plus array array minimum position okay the element which is contained in the minimum position that is zeroth position is greater than array of j that is in the first position because it is i plus one 
then minimum position should contain j it is something like this okay if the mini if, if the element contained in the mini assumed position that is minimum position which is zero in the first iteration is really greater than array of j array of j that is the second element because it starts from the second element then minimum positions will become j anyway after the completion of the inner for loop what comes out with minimum position is the real position where minimum valued element is residing from among the remaining elements therefore and the the first element i equal to 0 so we are so we have left the ambit of the inner for loop now we are in the control of the outer for loop you can notice over here the outer for loop has 1 2 3 4 5 5 statements so as far as the inner for loop is concerned it has only one statement that is if statement and if statement has only one expression or only one statement therefore we have never used flower braces this flower brace belongs to the outer for loop and this is the end of the outer for loop so now after the completion of the inner for loop i repeat the minimum position this variable will carry along with it the the real position where the minimum valued element is found and now swapping will take place temporary variable equal to array of i array of 0 because i equal to 0 the first element first element will go to a temporary variable temp and this gets vacated and the first place will be filled with array of min position array of min position okay min position really contains the exact position where the minimum valued element is residing the minimum value valued element is residing in the first iteration of course and therefore and array of min position array of min position now okay there is a mistake over here sorry for that okay array of min position equal to temp i repeat this min position will bring the real location where minimum valued element is residing from among the elements from among the remaining elements in the first iteration if there are 10 elements it will find the real valued minimum valued element from from nine elements so it may bring six it may be sixth place then temporary variable will receive array of i i equal to zero the first element will go to a temporary variable this the first place will get vacated or ready for overwriting array of i equal to array of min position array of 6 then array of 6 or array of min position should be filled with what exactly temp contains so in every iteration in any minus 1 iteration these things will happen and any minus 1 selections will happen okay in the second iteration min positions will be assumed to be i i means 1 i means 1 and this for loop will start from 2 because it is i plus 1 okay because the first element is already in place which is which is a real small valued position and the selection will take place the real minimum valued position from among the remaining remaining eight elements will be chosen over here and it will be swapped anyway after the completion of these two for loops for loops what we get out is the real sorted array with minimum so okay. you can uh, my respected viewers can really compare over here here the swapping will be only one in one iteration in every iteration but in comparison with bubble sort too many swappings will take place in bubble sort while minimum swappings will take place in selection sort because the element the true real uh, the true smaller element small valued or or short or lesser valued element will be selected and it will be swapped select and swap select and arrange select and arrange there goes its name that's how it goes its name select and sort therefore selection sort so array after sorting j equal to 0 j less than any j plus plus okay the elements are placed in a line with a with a space of 4 with a space of 4 and when you run this it will look like this how many elements 5 enter the elements minus 4 15 2 33 and 4 array before sorting 
minus 4 because we have we have printed in a line minus 4 15 2 33 and 4 array after sorting is minus 4 2 4 15 and 33 i hope the selection sort is understood clearly by our respected viewers and we will take on to searching in our next tutorial until 